Working on the Ranger recovery build has been a lot of fun for me to do. And truth be told, if we stopped right now, we could be totally proud of what we've produced. But we need to take this just a couple of steps further to truly do our rig justice. Up to this point, we've lifted the Ranger with shock extensions from Rubber Down Customs, tricked out our wheels and tires thanks to ITP with durable billet beadlock rims and 30-inch Mud Light XXLs, added worn XT40 4,000 pound winches to both the front and rear of the vehicle, along with a totally trick looking worn front bumper with integrated winch mount, and increased the protection of the underside of our rig with rugged aluminum worn skid plates. Lastly, Warren hooked us up with twin roll bar mounted light bars and six sets of lights. All in all, this Ranger turns heads and works harder than any project we've ever done. And when I talk about working harder, I don't just mean out on the trails. I mean when this thing's submerged up past the seat in the biggest, baddest mud holes that we can find. And one crucial thing when you're submerging a rig is getting air, air, and more air into the motor. And to do that, we're gonna be using a snorkel kit. With the help from our friends at Snorkel Your ATV, we were able to get the right snorkel kit for the Ranger with ease. They offer hundreds of different setups for ATVs and side-by-sides and can even customize your kit. They ship fully glued, so all you have to do is make the proper rubber boot connections and you're good to go. While many people think all you need to submerge your ATV is fresh air into the intake of the motor, the truth is you need a whole lot more than just that. And the Snorkel Your ATV kit that we've got will do everything required to keep this thing going when the water's well over the seat. Providing the crucial air intake for the motor, along with the CVT inlet and CVT outlet, the snorkel kit ensures we'll stay running when we're submerged. This kit also complies with all venting points for the engine and is relatively simple to install in just a few hours. It's very straightforward design with comprehensive directions and even the ability to return your rig back to a complete stock setup without any drilled components it's a slick setup that will keep our Ranger moving forward or back, no matter the situation we encounter. With our lifeguard certification now complete thanks to our snorkel kit, there's a few more pieces that I wanna add to the Ranger to truly customize it to its absolute fullest. And I'm gonna start first with that fifth full-size spare tire and rim that we have. If you remember back to our tire install, we talked about how we ordered a full-size fifth spare. I mean, you never know when you'll need one, and a stock tire just won't physically work when we're rolling on 30s. Didn't take me long to put a call into the folks at Pure Polaris Accessories to help us locate a totally cool yet functional answer to mounting our spare tire. This Polaris Ranger Cargo Box spare tire carrier can be purchased through your local Polaris dealer and is available from Pure Polaris. Your cargo box still tilts, it gives you huge possibilities for mounting more cool stuff, and yes, it holds our full-size spare in a location that looks similar to a pre-runner truck. It's super cool looking and totally functional. Oh, and get this, when you mount cool accessories like this in your Ranger, you get to use the super slick lock and ride system. Now that we're down to the home stretch, we need to bling out our Ranger a little bit while also remedying any issues that we may have encountered from the accessories we installed along the way. And Rubber Down Customs has us covered on both of these fronts. On the bling side of things, Rubber Down makes some cool aluminum accessories to customize your ride and add some personalized style. A solid milled shifter handle along with a gas cap milled with Rubber Down's name are two products that change the look of our rig and add some custom appeal. They install quickly and easily and don't blow the budget. While I made mention of fixing some issues, what I meant by that was reducing scrub. Out back, we're totally fine, but up front, we actually contact the inner fender wells when we turn really hard. Rubber Down has a couple of options for us to use to totally remedy these problems. Up front, we're choosing to use Rubber Down's 1.5 inch wheel spacer that gets bolted to your current wheel lugs. The added width will clear up our clearance issues while also adding some stability with a three inch wider front end. Out back, we're choosing to use a simple slide on quarter inch aluminum spacer that gets placed over your current lugs and your wheel slides back over top. Nothing technical about this setup. It's straightforward, cost effective, and will add a little width with ease. I've had quite a bit of fun this season building up our Project Ranger to endure the most grueling situations we could ever think up. It's big, it's tough, and it's ready for whatever we can throw at it. So why don't you send us an email and let us know what you think of it and what you'd like to see us do for next year's project.